If you've seen some of my other videos, you may be aware that I used to have a pornography addiction in my past. Uh, the last time I looked at internet porn was back in, I believe, uh, January of 2011. Part of my reason for making this video is I feel like there's a lot of people out there, you know, I think of especially a lot of men out there that are probably really lost in this, uh, in the grasp of a porn addiction, you know, and personally, I just really want to help people, you know, I want to help you, you know, how can I help you? Because I will say it's like some of my lowest moments I've had in my life were, yeah, I just would be by myself in my room masturbating for many hours. And um, it's like something died inside me. It's like I gave up on life during those times. And I think under, under it all, I was actually really escaping from something, you know, running away, you know, not really getting my full potential. I just want to kind of delve into some of the pain that I think I was experiencing during some of those times I was deep into those addictions. Um, so I'm just thinking of a time back in college. So I was actually a part of a fraternity. So I joined this, uh, fraternity house, um, with all these other guys. And I just remember there was a time where, um, I would go in my room. I had my own room and I would just isolate myself and I would just sit and masturbate in front of the computer screen and just look at porn for hours and hours and just waste you know, so much time just by myself, you, you know, and in that I, I felt like there was such a, a secrecy, you know, I feel like for me anyways, something that's unhealthy, you, you know, if I'm keeping it a secret from other people or I'm not really sharing exactly uh, what's going on and stuff, I feel like there's something maybe wrong about that, you know, and, and I feel like um, oftentimes I'm guessing a lot of people that uh, struggle with porn addiction probably keep it a secret, you know, and don't really tell too many people. Um, but, uh, but yeah, during those times, I really struggled. Um, some of the deepest depression I've ever had was during that time. Um, there was a time where I actually OD'd on a bunch of uh, medications. And also, um, I also, I think, took a bunch of uh, sleeping pills and ended up sleeping for quite a while. I was really struggling uh, with some deep, deep, deep uh, depression um, during college times. But uh, but yeah, it's just like I would get so so lost, so lost in watching these videos of yeah, people having sex, people doing some of the most um, I don't know graphic things. It's like. I would start out with one thing, you know, I remember when I was younger, it's like, oh, look, you know, a woman's breast, whoa, I would get aroused. And, but then over time, it's like, that's not enough. You know, now I have to see, you know, hardcore pornography and, oh, that's not enough. Now I didn't need to see like all these weird fetishes. And it's like, it just kept on advancing, advancing. I had to see like more and more and more consume more and more and more. So I just want to thank everybody out there for your support. Uh, so another video that I posted about uh, my pornography addiction story, um, you know, I've gotten some some nice comments from people. Seems like there's some very supportive people out there. So, you know, I, I really appreciate that from everybody. Um, you know, I want to post more videos on this topic. As a society, we really need to talk about this topic because I feel like it just um, cons consumes a lot of people, you know. And um, yeah, I just want to help people out there, you know. So uh, please, you know, leave some comments, um, you know, tell me about your story. And um, yeah, so uh, look out, look out for some future videos about um, my personal experience with porn addiction. And uh, yeah, I wish you well on your journey.